know, I'm getting, I'm getting worried about Marty. Hey, Duff here. Remember how I said that uh, one time I wanted to see if I could go to Dunkin' Donuts on the N10 3? Well, we're doing that now. I expect it to be a much different experience than doing it on the uh, M Super or the Monster, for sure. Of course, the, world, the uh, wheel is much more jittery than uh, either the Super or the Monster. And it has those tiny foot pedals. <laughs> so 10 miles should uh, feel like 100. And unlike the Monster, going 20 miles an hour on this is a non-starter for me. I don't plan to go that fast. It's just too uh, dangerous. I don't have my uh, GPS going or anything, but uh, however fast I'm going right now, this is about all, all the faster I'm gonna go. It rained like uh, all yesterday afternoon and uh, supposedly there was a good chance of rain today. Right now it seems pretty decent. But uh, if the weather holds up there's a possibility that maybe we'll get out later and uh, take the big uh, I-2 out with us as well and uh, cruise with the uh, I-2 in one of the wheels. My um, M10, it's the one with a bigger battery. I don't remember how big it is. For some reason 512 sticking in my mind. I think it's 512 watt hour battery. But um, I should have plenty of juice to uh, get me 10 miles. Even with a pretty good headwind, which I have right now. The wheel feels pretty st stable right now, but um, out, out of nowhere, you can just get a case of the wobbles. You know, sort of like what took Katie down a few weeks ago. Um, and it can sneak up on you real quick. So I'm pretty much over my illness at this point, although I do still get some coughing fits and I'm still blowing my nose a decent amount. You know, when I'm coughing, it sounds like I'm a lifetime smoker, but. Um, I understand that can that can linger for a long time. Uh, my energy level still isn't normal, but uh, it's, it's definitely much better than it was. Crossing Oil Well Road, meaning two miles down, eight to go. I saw that In Motion announced a new wheel. Well, it's not In Motion anymore. I think it's still a wheel. But uh, the V10 and the V10F. I didn't see any specs. <coughs> All I just saw was a picture that showed a very small part of one of the wheels, so I'm very curious to see uh, what that's all about. Really windy right now. And with a little wheel like this, it gets pushed around very easily. If I were to guess, I'd say I'm doing, I'm doing maybe 15, 14, 15, somewhere around there. That's what it feels like. Feels like it's uh, it's a much it's a much more stressful riding experience trying to do this kind of um, commute on a small wheel like this just because you got to be you got to be on it all the time. Whereas the uh, monster, you just kind of sit point it in a direction and it'll just go. Man, the tires so big you hardly feel anything. Uh, with this one, it's uh, much much different. All right, it should be about halfway somewhere around there. So. Feet are uncomfortable, but not unbearable yet. All right, I made it to the pathway at uh, Heritage Bay. Much better. So I have to tell you, if you're thinking about getting a YouTube channel, you need to make sure that you have thick skin. I've talked before about some of the ridiculous comments that you get uh, as a creator. And uh, yesterday, uh, yesterday I installed a, um, a dash cam, a combination dash cam rear view mirror on my Prius, my 2007 Prius. Posted the video. And I uh, wake up this morning and I see a comment from some guy. I think his name might have been Wildman. I don't, I don't quite remember. The 
the comment basically, um, let's just say he questioned my sexual preference and uh, called me a communist because I uh, drive a 2007 Prius. And I think he also said that he hoped that I, I um, set it on fire with myself inside and uh, that I filmed it. So yeah, there's a lot of really nice people out there on the internet, so you have to uh, just let that stuff roll off your back. I think, I think my um, response to him was, thank you for the thoughtful comment and please don't forget to like and subscribe. It's been my experience that that's the best way to disarm uh, people like that. Because like if you actually respond seriously, all you're doing is just you're opening up a can of worms that you're not going to be able to close. So I'd recommend uh, you just uh, look the other way when those people try to uh, suck you in. My feet are still holding on barely. Surprised to be honest with you. You know, I'm getting I'm getting worried about Marty. I think it's been it's probably been about a month, at least a month, maybe more than a month. Might be five weeks since he's bought a wheel. Um, if someone lives out in the Los Angeles area, if you can check on him, I'd appreciate it. Only a couple miles to go. Now, of course, I have this hairy park coming up where there's no bike lane. I'm not looking forward to that. Okay. I made it. Cindy's here. Uh, Elsa's here. I got worried. I was going to backtrack. Cindy's here. No, no worries. So uh, the M103 can officially make it to Dunkin' Donuts. It's very exciting. And my feet are still in one piece. On top of the trunk. Oh no, I'll, I'll do it. Yeah. Alright, anyways, till next time. Let me know.